Hello? I still can barely hear you. Stop playing. Stop playing. You have a treadmill in your house? Yeah. Why is that in the garage? Uh, because... <laughs> Why not have it at the house? Y'all you think it's a little loud? Your mom was trying to sleep in the other room. Nah, it's not loud. Uh, you need to get on the treadmill. Oh, Lord, here we go. A WWW -W -W shit. You can tell Siri to shut her fucking mouth because she got a whole lot to say, but ain't going back it the fuck up. Uh, I think Siri does what she wants to do. She don't, do shit, but she don't do shit unless I say jump. That's how are you going to tell someone to jump when you can't do it yourself? I can't look. No people saying Roly for banks. D calm down, man. What chance? Just shook the whole earth with your big back ass. Fuck. Don't do that. That shit dangerous. You can tell Siri to shave that mustache. Just hurt my knee, bro. Oh. Don't ever do that shit again. What's wrong with you? Oh. It's Rolier. Oh my god, Biggie, I'm your biggest fan. At Leland Barsida. Anyway. What's going on with you? Not much. Just just chilling. Okay. I have a, I have a... In that um, basement, I say. You said what? Still sit to that basement, I say. It's still stuck in his raggedy ass old house, I see. No, I'm not stuck here. I love you, honey. But that mustache combo got to exit. Why are they talking to you like that? I think they're talking to you. No, I think they're talking to you, sweetie. No, let me can you, can you, can you, man. Come a little closer to the camera. Let me see. A little bit closer. Oh, it looked like you got a rat on your lip. No, I don't have a rat on my lip. I have a couple rats in my house that I'm trying to get fumigated on. And I'm uh, trying to get rid of them, but I ain't got no rat on my lip. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Matching? We look like twins with the mustaches? Oh, God. No, we don't, actually. Because I don't have a mustache. Her mustache is thicker than mine? That's what I'm trying to say. Can you um stand up for a second? What you want me to stand up for? No reason. You like turn to the side. <laughs> Pop the big shirt you have on today. You said what? It's quite the big shirt you have on today. Uh, yeah, I like I like wearing oversized shirts. I would too if I had a little push. She's not laughing. Well, you have a wheelchair. I know she's not laughing with her wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair today. Roly from Baddies. Who's Roly? You said that already. But what? We heard what? Biggie, We heard wheelchair. We heard mustache. We heard Roly. What else they got to say? Uh, I don't know. We heard those several times. Siri, y'all got new jokes? Siri, you got some new jokes? I'll wait for her to respond. Siri, you got some... Norbit's girlfriend. Norbit's girlfriend. <laughs> Hola. Hey. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing all right. Okay. What's up? You want to battle? Sure. Where are you from? Michigan. Okay. I love Michigan. It's one of my favorite states. I hate Michigan. Oh, 
I hate it too. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah. Hold up, bro. Nah, something, something's up, bro. What do you mean? Something's up, chat. I think something's down. And that, that which, that which, what is down is the morality in this room right now. Uh, something's up. My views don't jump up to like two hundred like that fast for no reason. Something's up. You're probably on the for you page or something. Sometimes the, like, they push your lives on the for you page. If you're doing a good job on there, they think you're doing a good job. They want more people to see you, so they will push your live onto the for you page. Nah, something's up. Yeah, you might see it like go up a little bit more too, cause you know sometimes that happens to me. I only got what seven people here. Um, about Bay. What about her? Hello, dude. Hey, it's Jace. Mm. Come here, bro. Mm. Something's up, bro. I can't figure it out. Hey, I cannot Jace. figure it out right now. Jace. I cannot figure this out, bro. Let me see that person right there. Hi. Oh, I thought you were somebody else I was talking to early by, by the hair. I thought I got a little scared. Ask her about her twin, Luther. Who is that? Luther Vandross. Huh? Luther Vandross. Yeah, who's that? That's my twin brother. That's you. No, my name is Terry Joe. Where's where's your twin brother? He's dead now. He passed away. Yeah, just a couple years back. No, I don't get this. What's going on, bro? Get what? What is there to get? I don't know, bro. My chat's tweaking out, spamming the weirdest shit right now. Okay, well, guess what? Just roll with it, motherfucker. What, who are you really? Who am I really? really? Um, I would like to say that I'm a Christian with a loving heart and I just love Jesus and I want people to love Jesus the same way I love Jesus and I want for people to live a good Christian life like me and I want for people to just be nice to each other because I'm not people who's just been real nasty to me. And I'm starting to really regret um, even coming out here and trying to spread the good gospel of Jesus. Um, that's who I am. I would say that's who I am. A good Christian heart with a twin brother named Luther Van Charles. But he passed away a couple weeks back. I mean, a couple years back. And that's what I would say about me. What about you? Who are you? No way. You just, you could cry on demand like that. What do you mean on demand? You know damn well what I mean. I'm weeping for you. I'm weeping for you and your people. You know what I'm saying? Not, any, not very many people on here are Christians with a Christian mindset and a Christian heart. So I'm Thank weeping for y'all. I, I get real sad about that. I do. I'm so confused. I would be confused too, honestly, if I was living life through the devil. Now, is that your boyfriend that just came in here? Can y'all kiss for me? Hello? What what's, what type of question is that? Well, I'm just wondering, he came in here with his shirt all off his shoulders and stuff, and you called him in there, and he came in the tower and over you like he had some kind of authority over you, like he was the top and you were the bottom. I'm wondering if y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend. Hell no. Okay, so y'all not kissing on the love? Hell no. What if I told you that I know y'all are kissing on the love? Oh shit, bro. And that would be very disheartening to you because you don't want that kind of information on the internet. I know, I know, I know you like to hide in the closet and stuff like that, but we can see it. So you don't need to hide no more. You don't. You're a troll. 
You are a troll. No, I'm a Christian. You're a troll. Your Christian eyes when my eyes see straight through your bullshit. Where are you from? Louisiana. Why do you have a fake background? I know. This is my dining room. This is where I live. This is where I was born and raised, sweetie. I ain't nothing fake around about me. I'm a real person with real feelings. And you're hurting me right now. Where's your wheelchair? It's, I'm sitting on it. Just like you're sitting on that secret. Or that you think is a secret. But it's not a secret. It's plain and clear. Chad, I know this. Ask her about her meat wallet. What's your meat wallet? It's in my uh, panties right now. You want to insert a couple coins? Do you ever like, do you ever break character and like laugh at yourself? Like, be real, be real. Do you ever break character? You have to be in character to break a character, sweetie. There ain't no character around there. I do got lots of character actually as a person in general, but I ain't playing no character. You know, Dan wasn't playing a character. I'm not. Well, who's Rolly? Some fat bitch. Oh, she ain't fat no more. Rolly ain't poly no more, so I can't talk about her like that. But it's the colored girl who's on a TV show called Baddies. And she hates when people lie. She hates when people lie. What's that little, you got a little testosterone there. I heard it. What do you mean? I heard a little bit of like testosterone in there. No, that's just a bit of um cigarette cough. Sound like a little bit of test. A little bit of what? Some test. You know what I'm saying? The the juice. You sound a little juiced up. And you know what? I know you're used to dick and, uh, drinking Caleb's juice or whatever the fuck his name is when he comes to your room late at night drunk after the club because he couldn't score no poon honey. And he says, well, I guess you're going to have to do for tonight. And you just praise him for every single time that he comes into your bedroom in those nights because you're getting lonely in that bedroom as a homosexual who don't want to see no other homosexuals because you got a big one. You're carrying a fat, wet one for that young man over there. And he comes to your bedroom and he gets good and drunk and uses you as a flashlight and those are the happiest nights of your life and you're okay, sad stop. about it. Huh? Stop. 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 I think I think we've had enough here, Rasputa. It's Rasputa, sweetie. Not Rasputa. I don't know if how to read, read, read correctly. I want to hear that. I want to hear your real voice. And I want to kill you, but I guess we can't all get what we want, can't we? That's crazy. Like a freak. No way. Hey. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, it's a boring day, though. How was your day so far? Um, quite boring, just the same, honestly. I ain't got shit going on for myself. I never have, and I never will, to be honest with you. All I have is Jesus in my life and in my spirit and in my health. But not in your brain? Is Why is Jesus brain. not in your brain? He is in my brain. He stays in my brain. Show me right now. I've given him brain several times, actually. Huh? You could be next if you like. No! Jesus! <laughs> How could you? How what could I you? It was I get lent my brain to him, as in like I lent over my my thoughts and prayers to Jesus. Yeah, yeah, you better reword it. You better reword it. I God did it. Word. God did it. Fist into your mouth. Did you just tell me to shut my mouth. I did. How dare you come in here? I would like to tell me what to up. do. I would like you to clap those little lips together, and I do mean look. Now yeah. we clamp them together and never open them again. Yeah, you can you can close both your top lips right now, buddy. Both of my top lips. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, both of them shape like top lips right there. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to say now, huh? Where'd all that attitude go? 
Oh, it's scaring me. I'll tell you what that attitude went, motherfucker. It went over to your mama because your mama's mad as hell right now because she's pissed that you're sitting in her fucking house, stinking up the motherfucking place, eating up all her motherfucking food, playing up all her motherfucking card games and shit. You got her fucked up. You talking about I'm eating up all the food. Girl, you already done ate all the food. You done it's ate the house with house, it. house, not in yours. No, no, no. You. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you got the green screen in the background. You got no house. Where's your house at? green screen around here this is my bedroom i want you to go ahead stand up go grab that picture in the background i'm right in now. a wheelchair how am i gonna stand up god did it jesus done move the rock you gonna have to do something about well, it I am jesus now am i nah you talking about you gave jesus brain bro make it snappy make it snappy know. who said that you freak i didn't say that bullshit mm -mm -mm. now she's trying to go back on her word no, I'm going back, back to Cali, Cali. That's where I'm going back to uh, actually finish the unfinished business I got out there. And that's going to be my right, What kind of business you got out in Cali? Sorry. What did you say? Nothing. What? Nothing. Hmm. What kind of business do you have in California? No. Well, how are you going to say nothing now? I, I got my personal business going on there. Mmm, mm, sounds suspicious to me. What kind of business you got out there besides being a go-go dancer at the gay bar? Hey, you know, I could throw it back, though. It ain't my fault. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, yeah. can. Somebody got to get you a check. Somebody got to get you okay. gripped. To give me a check. You can come give me the check. No, I can't, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, you can. I'll drop the address right now. But a, a eighty foot mile, a eighty mile radius of you, I wouldn't do it. Mm -mm. You already in the eighty mile radius. I'm your neighbor. You're not my neighbor. I live in Louisiana. Ain't no way yeah. you're in Louisiana. I li I live in Louisiana too. What city? Exactly. Arkansas. Arkansas is a state. Yeah. Oh, I almost thought you a nigger. <laughs> yeah, look at look at you using them profanities. Hey, in profanity, that's just a, a certain nope. word. A color, yeah, fuck, color, fuck you. Hey, hey there, buddy. You uh, don't talk to me uh, like uh, that, buddy. You, uh, you got soft hands. Girl, tomorrow never came. Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm great. Are you? I sure am. How about you? How are you? I'm doing awesome, my friend. Hey, we play a game show. Well, thank you. I love your hair, by the way. Thank you. And your cross. So are you Christian? I am. I'm very Amen. much so a Christian. God bless you. So am I. Would you like to play memory trivia match with us while we do the battle? I would love to do that, actually. All right, my friend. Here we go. I'm going to start the game show. It's going to sound like a real game show, okay? So don't be frightened. Some people freak out. Welcome to Memory Trivia Match. I am your host, James Garner. That's right. Hey, everybody. Our game show asks our competing contestants a set of questions, and if they answer them correctly, we will stop gifting for 10 seconds, allowing the challenger time to get caught up on points. And if they answer incorrectly, then vice versa, they give us time for 10 seconds to gift. And that's how we play Memory Trivia Match. Everybody, welcome my good friend, Void Sai something. I can't read the full name. What is your first name, huh? Terry Joe. Virgo? Terry Joe. Jerry Joe? Terry. Terry. Terry Joe. Yeah. Terry. Joe. Terry. Can yeah. I just call you? Oh, Terry Joe. Okay. Yeah. Terry Joe, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. I need 30 seconds up on the board to start the game. And here is your first question. Are you ready? I sure am. All right. How many The Simpsons episodes are out there? How you know many what? of the episodes? I wish I knew the answer to that, but I think The Simpsons is a rot of your brain, but I'm going to go ahead and say 150. That's 150, is that your final answer? You still have 30 seconds. You yeah. still have 30 seconds. 150 is the end. All right, then. That is actually incorrect. There's over uh, five, uh, 639 episodes. Isn't that crazy? 639. I know. I think they'll probably stop at 666, you know, because I do know that that is an evil, evil, evil show. But what do I know? I'm just a hick from Oregon. <laughs> You're smart. You got the smart. Right. All right, my dear. Back to the game. 
10 seconds up on the board to allow time for you to get caught up. How about that? We're going to stay at 256 because I'm giving you that anyway. Because that's how we do. Oh, 259. It went down. How about that? Never seen that. That's the first time. All right, and we're back to the game. 30 seconds up on the board, and here's your next question. Are you ready? Okay, yes. All right. What is the title of Titanic's theme song, the movie? What is the title of the song? 30 um, seconds, go. My heart will go on. Yeah, you got that one. That was Woo! easy, wasn't it? <laughs> Great job. All right, 10 seconds up on the board to allow time for you to get caught up. You are killing us. You know that? You're doing Thank a great job. You. Thank you so much. All right, sweetheart. Here we go. We're back to the game. 30 seconds up on the board. Here is your next question. Which country produces the most coffee in the world? You have 30 seconds. Go. The most coffee in the world. It's a good question. What I was, is it? I was, I was that question. Um... I'm going to go ahead and say Sweden. Sweden. Is that your final answer? No. Italy. Ask your people. Italy is Wait, my final Italy? answer. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say Colombia. Colombia, close, very close. I'll give it to you. It actually is uh, Brazil, but that's close to Colombia anyway. All right, great job. Ten seconds up on the board allow you time to get caught up. What now? I don't want that point. That point was not given to me correctly, and I like to play fair and square. Oh, well, well, that's okay. You know, it's just a game anyway, and you're kicking our butt, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> All right, back to the game. 30 seconds up on the board. Here is your next question. What was the first state in America? You have 30 seconds. <laughs> Go. You would think I would know this because I'm a such a history buff and... I love history and I love America. Um, Amen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Is that your final answer? Virginia. Is that your final answer? Virginia is my, my final answer. All right. It's what actually I the... I was saying it's Delaware. Delaware was right. So which one was it? Wait, okay. She said Delaware. I heard it. Yeah. All right. Great job. 10 seconds up on the board allow you time to get caught up. Well, I'll tell you, you don't need time to get caught up. You're kicking our butt. 3,500 to 324. I don't even know what to say. We oh, are dying over good. here. Back to the show. 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question. What is the capital city of Spain? Capital you have 30 city. seconds. Go. Uh -oh. Capital city of Spain. Capital city of Spain. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Portugal. Uh, Portugal, no, Madrid. it's actually. Oh my God, she said Madrid. I heard it. Yeah, you got it. I was saying Portugal. That was right was at the you. end. And you know what? The game is over. Let's see who won. It looks like you literally killed us. We're not even a game show anymore. We literally lost so bad you took the house. <laughs> well, thank you for playing the game with us, my dear. It was so great to meet you. I actually Thanks followed you. Hopefully, you'll follow me. I will definitely follow you. you can oh, awesome. Well, God bless you. Other questions you have, or you got other questions, too. Oh, I've got lots of questions. You want to play another can game? Do a rematch? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. I'll do let's, it. I'll do it. let's do it. All right, and we're back. All right, everybody, we are back to the game. 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question. To whom was the first Nobel Prize awarded? Okay, whom the was the first was, Nobel Prize awarded? You got 30 seconds. Was it was, uh, I was to whom? It's not where I carry because she did There were two people. There were two people. Two people, yep. And I'll take uh, one of them. Doesn't matter. So bad. Uh, Jesus. No. Uh, uh, God. No. No, but, well, I mean, technically they should have, right? All right. Anybody, like, ask your audience. Did anybody know who won the first Nobel Prize? Oh, uh, well, Frederick Passy. 
Oh my God! Did you just say Frederick Passy? That is correct. You I literally mean, got it right at the to end. Yeah, it just came to me because I just I had a brain fart for a second and then it came to. Wow! Me. Great job! All right, yeah. ten seconds. Allow you guys to kick our butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm here wow. working up. <laughs> That was amazing. I don't know how you did that, but I am impressed. All right, welcome back to the show. 30 seconds up on the board. Here is your next question. Okay. What is the largest bone in the human body? You have 30 seconds. Large bone. Go. Yep. Um, um, large bone in the human body. What I think it is is that part of the leg right above the knee and then up to the hip bone. Hip bone. Right. I'm going to go ahead and say femur. That's correct. It is the femur. Great job. Wow. You are killing it. All right. Rules are rules. 30, uh, 10 seconds up on the board allow you time to get even more points to kick our no, I've never done nothing like this before. You're my first. Thank you, This Beat. I appreciate that. That was, was that a nice compliment. the first compliment. time you heard that sentence? All right. Back to the game. 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question. This is an interesting one. How many moons does Saturn have? Saturn. How many moons? Oh, you have 30 I seconds. Go. Um, I have two moons on the back of my back. Two big fat uh, two. Mm. Looks like the moon. Um, are they tattoos? No. They're, I'm saying my booty seems to say about the moon. But anyway. Oh. You I'm going to go ahead and say um, Saturn has... 146 moons. That literally is correct. Saturn does have 146 moons. Wow. 10 seconds up on the board. Allow time for our guests to get caught up. That was amazing. How did you figure that out? You are like. Ever since I was a little girl, because it's real close to heaven. So. You are amazing. I'm just shocked and pleased at the same time. All right. 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question Who painted Freedom from Fear? An artist painted the painting Freedom from Fear. You have 30 seconds. Not real good when it comes to art and stuff like that, but. You know, um, if I dig deep into my brain, I can go back to my uh, college years when I did take an art history class. And uh, you said, who wrote Freedom to Fear? Norman Rockwell. Whoa, holy cow. You know, I love Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey wrote a song called Norman fucking Rockwell. And I actually uh, remembered it from that way. And, you know. Yeah. You inspire me. You are amazing. You so I just, I am just, I've just loved it when you, you did that. That blew me out of the water, man. I have a, um, you know, I have a natural, you are, brain, you are awesome. I'm just, yeah. it, I, I'm having a great time playing. Thank you so much. All right, 30 seconds up on the board. Uh, actually, no, 10 seconds allow you time to kick our butt. I'll tell you, 3,000 to 500. Boy, is anybody going to stick some galaxies up there to make sure we uh, catch up to this 3,000? Or you guys just... galaxies up my ass, Jeans, if you like. <laughs> I, I'm a married man. I, I wow. stopped doing that uh, when I got married. You know, that was on my honeymoon, a one-time thing. Uh, if you leave hard, you can make it a nightly thing. Oh my God, help me. Here you go. All right, 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question. 17 seconds to go. How, uh, oh, which popular TV show starred Buffy and Jody? Buffy, Buffy and Jody, TV show, very popular Buffy. in the 80s. Um, Buffy and Jody. Buffy and Jody. Was the TV show called Buffy? It's, yeah, a Buffy and Jody, a TV show. I believe it's from the 80s. Buffy you and know Jody. I'm just starting to come it's a family affair. What the heck is going on? This woman Yay! rocks. And speaking of, you just won the game. Congratulations. Oh wow. <laughs> Congratulations. You inspire me. You're our best contestant we have ever had on this live I love you, honey. I followed you. I hope you come back on the show and show everybody how it's done because you are amazing. I just want to say a big thank you to Jesus because without Jesus, I wouldn't be here today. And um, if you would like to leave your wife for a young new a woman like myself, just saying, you could. I I would date you in a heartbeat. I love you. I would. I love you. 
All right, right honey. Well, we will see you next time, okay? I love you, and we'll see you then. If you can follow Bye, huh? What's my win? What the fuck did I win? Hello? Hey. What are you eating? Ice cream. <laughs> Rocky Road? Huh? What kind of ice cream? Uh, was... Huh? Hey. <laughs> Ugly everything. Girl, that's Neapolitan, sweetie. Neapolitan. Yeah. It was, it was not name brand. That's why you didn't know him. I what like that. Wow, I feel like y'all could have chose a different color, though. Cause what that color what does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? What does what mean? They bought no brand. Well, it's just non-name brand, so it didn't tell you the name. It probably said Rainbow Ice Cream or something like that. That's why you didn't know the name. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. Wait, do you know what Bluebell Ice Cream is? No. Where are you from? Illinois. Interesting. Is Bluebell Ice Cream a Texas thing? I already knew you were from the South. Um, yeah, someone they, in my chat said Texas. They said no. I could have sworn I've seen it here a couple times. I love Bluebell. Interesting. Because I asked one of my friends. She happens to be a, a idiot. I asked her if she knew what Bluebell ice cream was, and she said no. And I said, well, that's kind of crazy. Because I know there is a factory of Bluebell ice cream um, in... um. Right. Someone said to ask about your meat wallet. I think you're fine. I don't think you want to know about all that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what do you do? Why are you eating ice cream this late at night? Because I'm hungry after work. You didn't think to cook yourself a good meal? Your mama didn't cook today? No, I just don't want to eat real food. Oh, okay. That's how you're keeping your figure for those young men. Who said men? You didn't deny it, sweetie. A real uh, heterosexual man would uh, deny it fiercely. So everybody has questions for you, but they're asking me. Yeah, they would ask you because they, they know that I'm not going to answer. Do you have a bad foot? Because everyone says that you need a wheelchair. No, I don't have a bad foot. I have two bad knees. So yes, I'm in a wheelchair. Do you know that the Stanley Cup is a staple for homosexuality these days? Every mm -hmm. homosexual has one. That's, That's how y'all identify each other. That's one of the homosexuals, uh, uh, not reformed homosexuals that comes into my church. He told me that that's how y'all identify each other these days. Y'all carry around Stanley Cups. That's how you know when you fought, when he go into that public bathroom, you go run after him. Maybe do a little sucky sucky, um, whatever the hell y'all like to get into. Okay, and why why are you age restricted? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you showing? Say crazy stuff and yeah, they restrict my life, and that's okay because some people just can't handle the truth. Okay. Yeah. Someone asked, "Where has Daniel been? Who's Daniel?" I don't like it now. Somebody that I don't like to speak about, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it just makes my uh blood my blood boil. So. Oh, I hate to see that. Makes my blood boil and my ass itch. Where do you do for work? Where do you work at? A restaurant. What kind of restaurant? A fancy one. And you wore that to work? No, I have a work shirt. Like, uh, let me show you my apron. I wear. Look, it's like, apron. It looks like yeah, it looks it looks like I'm in a food fight. Are you a cook? No. So now I know you live in, where do you live again? Illinois? <laughs> yeah. You live in Illinois and you work at U.S. Prime. You see just how easy that was easy, that was easy to track your little ugly ass down? U.S. Prime could be anywhere. I don't give a damn, it could be anywhere. I know which one you work at now. Well, come enjoy a meal. <laughs> it's funny. 
I can't afford it. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you can get one on the house for me. I will show up if you can get something on the house. Were you at the People's Choice Awards? No, I wasn't. Billy Eilish said no. She said I couldn't come, so I stayed at home. She told you that? Yeah, me personally. Yeah. Oh. So you just gonna sit there and eat that whole bowl of ice cream? Yeah, it's melting. You don't like ice cream cones? No, because then it melts in my hand and I have to eat fast. Oh, you're not a fast eater? Mm-mm. On the count of the homosexuality? Because all the straight men I know, they eat like animals. They, they dog their food down. And a homosexual like to take his time and eat real dainty like a woman. I'll eat fast if I'm hungry. You ain't hungry, so why you eating? I don't know. You gotta fill calories in. Yeah. Well, that can't be good for you bottoming tomorrow. You gotta be shitting everywhere. So I think you might want to put down the dairy. It's a little late for dairy. All right. Yeah, because I know you ain't talking. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Well, I hope one day I can grow my mustache as thick as yours. And, but I hope that you can grow um, anything as thick as anything that I have because your arms are quite small, your chest is quite small. You got the very small frame of a 12 year old girl. And I'm hoping that someday in the future you could be built like a man, like a man should be. I will one day. I don't think like, so. Not even ice cream. Give me, a, give me a. A couple months and then watch. You, you'll see. You ain't got a couple months. I'll be I'll be able to pick you up like this. <laughs> you ain't got a couple months because you you're emaciated. Wait. You got a couple a hours. A couple hours to be able to pick you up. That's you not gonna happen. Hours. So people do five at this. Because you're eating ice cream. You're on an ice cream diet. Oh okay. I think I'm on a bald spot. Why you got a bald spot? Because I be ripping my hair out sometimes. It's... When I get angry, I rip my hair out. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you don't have to use a wheelchair when I can pick you up. No, I'm good. I would like to stay on the ground, please. Yeah. I could drag you. No, I'm good. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for the uh, invitation. We, we have the same necklace almost. We don't. Mine is bigger and mine is real. Oh. Yeah. But, so. you know, gold is more valuable than diamonds, right? This ain't diamonds. It's silver. And where I live, silver is much more valuable because it keeps you alive. Because there's vampires over here. Oh, there's vampires? Yeah, there's vampires, so. Silver keeps me alive. Why does everyone... Like, is asking you about Doja Cat. What's up with you and Doja? She's pregnant with the, with the Satan fun. Oh, so you're you guys are you are friends like this? No, we ain't friends like that. She just grew up in my house. My mama took uh took her in because she felt bad for her because her mama kicked her out because she came out colored. So she, my mama took her into the house and she was living with us for a couple hours, a couple days. And I say a couple hours because those hours I would never forget. In the wee hour of the night, she would wake up or I would wake up and I would see her crawling on the uh, window and stuff, crawling on the ceiling. And I would get so scared. She would be like, how oh, my demons look? And I'd be like, sweetie, what you got going on? And I would pray over her. And she would start riding and falling at the mouth. And she'd fall from the ceiling. And I'd pick her up from the floor and I'd say, get, get, get the out the damn girl. Get the demon out of her. And the, <laughs> and the demon would fly out of her mouth. And I would say, I banish thee. I banish thee and I don't like you. Out of my house, out of my house, out of my house. And they left out of my house to never be seen again. Um, and so did she a couple weeks later than that because she couldn't take it no more. And then now look at her and sold herself to the devil. 
That's crazy. Yeah. So I heard I heard you were able to like turn Lil Nas into a Christian. Yeah, I was. Halfway. He's still I think that's where I saw you where you were like like I think you buzzed him. Yeah, he's got a little more work to do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. What do you listen to? Um, all the Joe Rag. Is that Christian music? Yeah. Oh. She's a Christian and she's making music that so makes it Christian music. Yeah. You ever had a demon inside of you? Just penis. Mm-hmm. Huh? Just penis. No. None of that. No, not yet. I don't, do, I don't do any of that. You know, you gotta, you gotta wait till marriage, you know that, right? What'd you say? I gotta wait till marriage? Yeah, I would say that as well. Can I see your dining room? I what? Oh, it's a mess right now. Why? What's on that computer? What? What's on that computer? Text messages. From who? Because I read all of them when you put it up there. I can hear you. What'd you say? Oh. Huh? What the? Bless you. I didn't sneeze. Somebody said something that I gave. <laughs> You ever gayed oh. before you ever been gayed? Okay. Hold on. Can I show you something crazy? Sure.